once upon a time in the great Arkansil Kingdom. The world lived in peace and coexistence between the humans, the animals, the birds, even the cute little bunny rabbits. It was an age of prosperity without anything to fear of war, famine, catastrophe. It was so very boring. So boring, in fact, that even the devil himself was bored brainless. The devil dreamed of bloodshed, pestilence, suffering on a cosmic scale. So, he devised a plan to make things in Arkansas a little more entertaining. The devil unleashed the curse of the Eternal Night. A powerful spell that conjured mindless, soulless, heartless monsters across the world. The monsters lay waste to every city, every home, every leaky outhouse, and backwater town in the kingdom. It was beautiful, but for some reason, the humans quite enjoyed their safe, boring little lives. They couldn't handle a few pesky monsters coming in and tearing them all limb from limb. So, they called upon their champion. Mighty wizard. A sorcerer with the skill and intellect to break the curse and usurp the devil's power. The wizard departed his luxurious tower in his studies to find the power he needed to break the curse of the eternal night. Very well, the devil said. Two can play that game. And who knows, this might be the fun I've been looking for. So in response to the wizard's quest, he called upon a champion of his own. Stingy Jack, <laughs> history's greatest trickster and con artist, banished to wander the world as a wayward spirit. The devil crammed Jack's soul into the skin of a pumpkin and made him a deal. The devil would forgive Jack's past misdeeds and grant him passage to the afterlife. And in return, he gave Jack one simple mission. Find the wizard and destroy him. I really love those sort of cutscenes, those hand-drawn intros. It really tells a story in a different way than you'd expect. So we're basically on the bad side, I guess you could say. Alright, here we go. We just crash landed. Looks pretty cool. Um, we got a little bit of screen tearing. I think I'm gonna have to adjust my video here. Uh, might as well turn this on, I guess. That might help. Yeah, okay, it's helping. Sometimes it doesn't help in certain games, like the graphic card just tends to do its own thing, but um, yeah, otherwise it feels pretty smooth so far, which I love. Hmm, this world is a mess. So the devil meant what he said about total death and destruction. Looks like it's doing fine as is, but he still needs me to get rid of some pesky wizard. Okay, spacebar to jump. Pretty simple. Got this little altar of skulls and whatnot. Which begs the question, what kind of wizard can't the devil get rid of himself? That's true. If he's the devil, like, can he not basically do whatever he wants? I love these volumetrics as well. Okay, we can talk to this little owl. Ooh, ooh. Look who bothered to show up. I trust you haven't already lost your brain in that gourd. Grown men have died for less than that bird. Tardy and insubordinate. Not an amazing first impression, Jack. Who are you? How do you know my name? I am a servant of the devil, and I'm here to monitor your work. The devil hasn't forgotten your penchant for trickery, Jack. He doesn't trust you. Just don't slow me down. I haven't forgotten how to roast a chicken. <laughs> Just remember who gave you that fancy new body. Speaking of which, let's begin your orientation. Orientation? What kind of fool do you take me for? The kind who spent centuries in corpulus. Now, stop dawdling. It's time you get acquainted with your new form. Okay. This is such a eerie world as well. I, I just love the art style. I think this was done by one guy as well. 
Or at least when I was following the development of it, it was one guy. And I love the demo of it too. You'd be wise to drink from these cauldrons. The primordial stew holds your new body together. And uh, yeah, you can see that demo on the, the channel, but we're going to be playing the full game now. Okay, so we can drink from this cauldron. Alright, so what did that do? Is that basically like a save point? Or did it just like get my health bar back up? You can double jump to boot. How? Your body is magical, you dope. Fair. Um, okay. So here's some collectibles. In some cultures, crow skulls are good luck and ward off evil. So I guess I should be also going for some of those. I wonder if there were any at the beginning. I considered it, that's why when I first loaded in, I went up to the field and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to continue forward and not uh, look for them right away. But for those who are collecting them, that's where two of them are so far. Okay. So I was going to jump to that next one and I figure I should probably wait. Yeah, this feels really smooth, like you can still move in the air as well. But like, it feels feels good. I think there's one up there. Okay, where is this? This is right at the end almost. Okay. So there might be fall damage, but I don't know what the range is. And I wonder, are we? Yes, okay, so obviously water is bad. I just had to check. Fall in one time, oh great, there's a death counter. But you have to check early on, you know, you just never know sometimes what the mechanics are, so might as well try it now. Alright, let's jump through this. Double jump. Like I said, this one I can definitely get onto. Actually, I could probably get on that one as well. Or at least get the safety, no problem. Okay, go up here. What do we got? Some more crows. Okay, get out of here. Might as well drink from this. We at least got the checkpoint. That's better. For some reason I feel like there's another collectible around here somewhere. Nah, like I said, we'll come back. We'll probably do those later. Get it running to start and then double jump across the river. Okay. What do you have to say here? Not so bad so far, Jack. You've shaken off those cobwebs well. It does feel good to have my own body again. Arms, legs, everything. You'll put them to the test from here. There will be monsters ahead. You shouldn't have any trouble fighting them off. Well, I've never been one to turn down a chance to bash some heads in. But why should they attack me? Has nobody told them I'm on their side? They can't be told anything, Jack. Monsters are mostly mindless miscreants. They can barely tell each other apart, let alone something like you. Pumpkin or not, you're still human. That alone makes you their target. So that's why the devil needs me. He needs someone who can think like a man. This new enemy is clever, Jack. He needs someone just as clever. I see. And he doesn't mind that I'm cutting down his monsters? They're practically worthless. Do what you must. Just get the job done. I just, like, look at this scene right here. Like, you got the sun peeking through, and the crows, all their eyes are glowing. That's so cool. And, like, all the twisty trees, and I just love it. Okay, so we could dodge with E. Awesome. Like I said, that feels really good. Um, there's a collectible there. Sometimes the best way to win the fight is just walk around it and move on, even if it's less fun. True. So instead of dodging it, I could just walk right around it. Alright, let's hop back up here. So I feel like I could probably just do that around here as well, eh? Yeah, pretty much. It's fine. I don't think it's meant to be too hard. This is really cool right here. Ah, it's back! It's back! Flap away! Everyone, flap for your lives! Oh great, more bird. Birds, let me through before I pluck you all raw. S stay away from us, Scarecrow. I've, I've got claws and I, c I can use them. Me? A common Scarecrow? I am Jack, the greatest rogue to ever live. W wait, he's got legs. Scarecrows don't have legs. And his head isn't stuffed with straw. See? I'm no scarecrow. Now let me through you, corvid creeps. Gah! Not so fast. It seems the birds have the upper hand for once. We'll let you through, Mr. Jack, if you help us in return. At the mercy of a crow? What do you want? 
A scarecrow often appears at that barn just ahead. He's been terrorizing us for weeks. He's a menace to crow kind. And I suppose you want me to get rid of him? Yes, yes, and I'll help you too. My wings are swift and my beak is sharp. Hmm, some air support could be useful. Very well, bird. Huzzah! Death to the straw-faced menace. Let's go. Okay. So he's just gonna like kind of follow me around. It's like a banjo kazooie type thing. Let's see what happens here. Uh, okay. Ready to? I'm ready, Jack. Let's crow. Okay. So there's different prompts. I guess you can tell the crow to attack forward. Interesting. He like breaks down the bridge. Hmm. <clears throat> like pecks at it and then just knocks it down. Deadheads, deadheads. That's funny. Okay, so we got a shovel. It's mostly rust, but I suppose any weapon is better than none. Okay, so we can just swing it and otherwise send the crow after them. Okay. What does that do? Hmm. Oh, it's just a dummy, basically. Alright. That's very uh, ominous. Just some light in the top of a barn. So there's 20 collectibles. I'm pretty sure I'm going to miss most of them. Bust this door down, Jack. Roly really put some welly into it. So you want me to do it? Because, like... There we go. The, uh, the bird icon wasn't showing up. Here's our checkpoint. I guess we could drink a little bit. Okay, up here. And up again. There's a collectible on top of here. Should probably get. Alright. Make sure there's no more. So there's a single attack. The thing is, I've been playing a lot of New World recently and dodge is on shift. So I'm pressing shift more than I'm pressing E. So let me see if I can swap that without... Oh, let's walk. That's okay. So let's put... Oops. Let's put walk on E. And dodge on left shift and... Left mouse button's okay. Okay, perfect. We're good. Sensitivity's okay. Awesome. Yeah, that's better. A little more intuitive for me at the moment, anyways. So, I wonder what the delay is between. Oh, who's this? I was gonna say between uh, sending out the crow. He just rests on your head when you stop. What do you got for me? Wait, wait, don't hurt me. Uh, you can talk? Yes, I'm not here to hurt you, sir. Are you sure? You look like a monster to me. Rotten, half dead, soulless. Of course, I'm a salesman. Oh. Uh, well, now I just want to kill you anyway. No, 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 stop. At least browse my wares first. What are you selling? Skins. I harvest the skins of interesting dead people for other people to wear. Clothes, too. Oh, right. Well, I won't kill you, but I, I do want a discount. By all means, please, take a look. Okay, so we got the Pumpkin King equipped. Oh, we could buy other, like, skins from character. The samurai? It'd be better if we can preview them. That's pretty cool, though. So you're not just collecting things, collect them. They're currency. And there's one right here, which I missed somehow. There's monster essence everywhere by now. Break stuff to restore your health in a pinch. Oh. Interesting. So that's what that glowy stuff is. 
Monster Essence. Can I break these two? No. Okay. So I think you can dodge through the attack. Like, you can cancel it. Yeah, you can cancel your attack, which is pretty cool. Okay, how did I do that swing? Oh, so some of them unlock after you do your combat. So the other one was always there. You just had to wait till I defeated the skeletons. Oh, tricky. Way back in the corner behind the corn. There's gotta be another one around him somewhere, right? So he can't grapple up. Well, I guess he kind of does, but he just couldn't grapple onto that one. Oh, I guess I could break these two, eh? Okay, so you can combo. Triple click is basically a spin. Is there anything I can collect on these? Now these ones you kind of got to time a bit better. And then onto here. This isn't too bad. Now I wonder if... Like, if we break these, are there any collectibles hidden in them? Like, up that one? Oh, well, actually, you can go up here, though, and there's a collectible. I almost fell off of that. That sound effect reminds me of, um... What's that game called? The one I played for Halloween, like, two years ago? Costume Quest. That's what it reminds me of. Gotta be one back here, right? Yep. Yeah, when you collect them, it's I think it's like when you collect the candy in Costume Quest. That's kind of what the sound is. I can't remember. I just know it's from that game. Alright. Should be good for this area. We'll just send some crow... After that one, I guess I locked on that one first instead of this one. Just double check back here. Some dude down here. Yeah, this combat's like really satisfying. I love it. I just love that you can dodge, like cancel your attack. Well, that's one I already collected. Okay, so yeah, just let's go upwards. Upwards to the wonderful house. Hmm, perhaps your new body isn't needed here. Hop out for a minute and look inside. Hop out of my body? Of course, your new body is just a shell. You can always use your head. Wait, you mean he can get out of that thing? Ugh, that's disgusting. Cram it, bird. Hop to it, Jack. Drop your body and head inside. <laughs> okay. So we can basically just be our head. Alright. So I guess we need to use jump up onto that to activate the mechanism to open the door. Got it. So okay, we can push this over. You can still use your roots to move around. Double jump and attack. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Alright, so there's that, and then we're gonna wanna push this to here. And 
We almost want to double jump. Can we, we can't double jump up to that, can we? So... Um... I'm guessing, I see, I think I know. Okay, so we still want this one here, right? And then when I do this, I see. So I basically canceled it out. And then I want one on here, got it. So I had the right idea. just um, removed it and then didn't bother putting it back on so hopefully that's enough certainly is I guess we'll put this back I like I should be able to jump on that normally but just to be safe all right Open sesame. There we go. So that was a different area than I was just in. So, huh. When you do that, you basically break off into like a puzzle instance, I guess. All right. Yeah, I think it's almost like somewhere off into that area, like a shed or something. Going down into the depths. You can dodge through them too, I think. Oh, this is like a spawn, uh, a spawner. Hmm. Oh, it's open over here. All right. Can I get up on those rafters? Not from there. Okay, so there's another collectible back here. And I jumped down from there, so I gotta go up here. And then, I guess I actually do? No, I guess it won't let me up on the rafters. It almost like pushed me off. So, do I just jump from here? Oh, no, it lets me on. Okay. Maybe I was just on the wrong part. Like, you see those little platforms? Maybe I had to be on those and not the actual rafter itself. That could be it. Otherwise, you just slide off. Now. I guess I want to go down. I can come back up anyways. Another spawner. Oh, these are like rats. Interesting. Oh, come on. I'm trying to do it with no hits. I should do a run with no hits. like some alchemy stuff. I mean, some sort of storage area for the wizard? Okay, so... I considered having to go up there, which I guess I still could. Good choice. Okay, we're at 17. So actually, it almost seems like we didn't miss too many. All right. Oh, so yeah, I took a different path. 
And then from there, I guess we wanna we do wanna actually go up here. Anyways. Yeah, you gotta basically be on these platforms, otherwise you slide off. Um I guess it's as simple as going to here. Uh, what's going on? Uh oh, Jack, I think you knocked over a candle or something. Yep, someone did. There's a fire. And I'm guessing I don't want to touch it. Nope, I do not. So... Do I just burn? Do you smell smoke? We gotta get the flap out of here, Jack. Uh, run, Jack. The barn is collapsing. Oh, this is like a running sequence. Who'd have thought dry straw and hay could burn so fast? Um, I mean, do I say it or? <laughs> it was actually pretty cool. Make sure you knock down all these little bridges. It's a little tricky there, reading it while running forward. Reading the dialogue, but you got it. And also I can look left to right too, just to be sure there's no collectibles. Like that one stood out, but I feel like they might hide them. I feel like I'm a little bit behind. I feel like things are breaking a little too close to my butt. Oh, maybe not. I think we are pretty much at the end. That's a really big barn. Like, who would have thought that barn was that big? I didn't. And he just walks in with, like, nothing. Like, it's, you know, he's just a hero. Like, yeah, I just did that. Wow, you wrecked the place, Jack, but I didn't see that awful scarecrow. He must be in the back fields. Okay. Well, we made it out. Of course there's one back here. 19. I bet you that one that we missed was at the beginning. Oh, there's a scarecrow. Dude goes there. Show yourself. There he is. He's just as menacing as always. Don't be so craven. He's just a bog standard scarecrow. Did he see me? Please tell me he didn't see me. Haha, <laughs> well, look who's here. Back for more fun, little birdie. Ah, he saw me. Flee, flee! Stop wetting yourself. As for you, it's time you hopped away. I heard you, Jack, skulking around here. Or I heard you were skulking around here, Jack. We dim-witted monsters not cutting it for the old man. Hmm. I have my own business, Scarecrow. If you don't get out of my way, I won't mind turning you into kindling. Devil has the gall to send some wayward soul to do our jobs for us. Well. We'll show him all you, all you humans are good for living or dead. I'll bury you again, you wretch. Uh oh. Okay, so he shoots stuff down when he does that phase. Okay, we gotta knock him down and then we can combo him for a bit. And we gotta jump over these, I guess. Uh, where'd you go? Okay, so it's a phase where get some ads. Oh, I can't even move my camera. That's what was being weird. Okay, bring him back down. Oh. I knew he was doing it, but like, I thought there was a delay. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna like... There's more health than I thought. 
This is different than the demo. I wonder if I could have done that sooner. Oh, we got him. I wonder if I could have knocked him down sooner. And I just couldn't see it because I was too close to him. So this new weapon we can use now? Can we swap between them or do we just keep upgrading? 